How does EPA shut down inflammation? Second part of the question, does it stimulate anti-inflammatory acosinoids? We showed yesterday the way that EPA shuts down inflammation, it fools the enzymes that make inflammatory acosinoids. It looks structurally similar to a rocketonic acid. And if it's in, basically gets into the enzyme, it just crowds out a rocketonic acid and now you make acosinoids which are pretty weak. Uh, that's how it reduces inflammation. However, there's a new class of acosinoids called resolvents. Resolvents that are made from EPA that are very powerful anti-inflammatory acosinoids. They're the ones that are basically are made to shut down an overactive immune system. So the EPA can basically be a competitive inhibitor of arachidonic acid, making it more difficult to make inflammatory acosinoids. This is how it dilutes out arachidonic acid. It can also be a substrate to make a new class of acosinoids called uh, resolvins, which are very powerful anti-inflammatory. That's why you want to have EPA in your diet. When you take it out of your diet, you're basically walking on very thin ground in terms of controlling inflammation.